right, so we are, y'all, we are, we are going to have a good time tonight. I have got some cutie things to show you. Some cutie things. Let me clear off my little pieces and parts that came off of my die cutting thing. And here we go. Um, putting you over here. Oh, wait, I need to put me up there. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> I was wondering what that word was. I'm usually pretty good, but I couldn't I couldn't figure that one out. Okay, y'all. So happy y'all are here. <laughs> Even though I can't see you in person, it's good to see a smiling face. Because I know y'all are smiling because we're crafting, right? There's no boohooing in crafting. Tammy, hey! So good to see you here. I still want to hear all about your dinner. But I'm telling y'all what, I haven't had five minutes to even think about anything. Not five. In the last few days, y'all. Okay, first of all, y'all, I did cut these out. And we're going to use them in a card. Okay, I went ahead and cut them out. Look at that little cutting board. Is that not the cutest thing? Hey, Teresa. So, um, that's right. There's no crying and crafting, man. All right, so we'll talk about that set in a minute. But, y'all, I did a paper swap. I mean, I didn't do it, but I participated in one. And I got to show y'all, I'm just going to I'm just gonna flip through them. I'm just, I'm just going to flip through them because they are gorgeous. And I also need a piece of red and white stripe, which I'm looking for now. Okay, so, y'all, this, it is absolutely gorgeous. And there's nothing coming off on it. I don't even know. I don't even know what you call it. The back is like a slick something. I don't even know, but, um, it, it's not cheap and you only get, I think you just get these two colors. No, there's got to be a third color. I don't know. I'm going to say two colors. Okay. And then, oh, there it is. There's the piece I was looking for. We're going to use this tonight. There's the back side. This is a Christmassy paper, but we're going to use it tonight in our card. I'll put it over there, over there. All right. Um, so I do, I do want to tell y'all something really cool. Okay, wait a minute. This is a paper swap, which means all the papers, um, the designer series papers and the one specialty paper was included in this swap. And the swap I did was a guy named Brian King, who is, you know, he, he's really the king of crafting. He really is. And I've met him many times and I love him to death. And I didn't really want to do a swap on, on this particular Thing, but I will probably do one when the uh, holiday catalog comes out later in the year. So y'all stay tuned. Okay, so this is some Christmas paper that's going to be out. I love a paper chair too, Heather. And y'all, Heather's new on my team. Yay! Hey, Angela. And this is also part of it, which I've already snuck off over there. Okay, I'm going to turn it over because I'll get confused, y'all. Okay, so that's Oh, and I left that guy out too. Y'all, it's been a day. It's been a day. Y'all, I can't even get over this. This it Brian King is a rock star. Yes, he is. But look at that. This, it, you'd have to see it in person. It is a gold vein running through this. It looks just like marble. And look at that watercolors. Y'all, oh my heavens. Gorgeous gorgeous. When you buy this paper, you do get the 12 by 12 sheet. And this is a splash down the center. So many ways to use this. D oh, hey, Jennifer. I know. I love it. I love it. Um, Angela, I want to be on the list for the... Yes, yes. You, you are on it now. It is called a paper share. No, no, no. I want you to talk. Hey, Teresa. Yes, this is so pretty, y'all. It. This reminds me of like cotton candy with gold. I, I don't, I don't even, I mean, has, have we ever had that? I don't know. All right. More watercolor paper. And y'all, they have honest to goodness artists that create this. And yes, thank you, Leanne. Expressions in ink. That's what it's called. Expressions in ink. Y'all, I can't, I, I'm just absolutely, I'm going to end up buying two or three packs of this just so I'll have it long after it retires. This is beautiful and I'm just I'm just over the moon with it. Over the 
look at that. Oh, y'all. Um, somebody said it looked like that, that test where they put ink and they say, what does this look like to you? I think it looks beautiful to me. That's what it looks like. And see all the shinies. Oh my gosh. Okay. What, what is this Brian King? Oh, that y'all, this is glimmer paper. I'm, I mean, let's just observe a moment of silence. Okay. That's long enough. All right. Hold on. We got more. We got more. This is like a shimmery vellum. And I really would have to, oh, oh, please hold. I had two pieces there. Y'all, I had two pieces. This is vellum. There's three. And they're all in the new in colors, four and five. These boys have to be turned over. Hold on. Look at that. And it's all shimmery. All of that is shimmery. Glitter. Yes, but it doesn't come off on you. There's, there's nothing to come off. And, of course, I don't have the correct names, but, you know, y'all jump in if you know what they are. You can tell me. All right. This is, um, I, I want to say, lovely. As, it's not lovely as a peach. You're a peach, I think. Um, please hold. I know it. I know this one. I know this one. It is called You're a Peach. Yay. And, y'all, I got to show y'all something. These little jars, I wasn't going to order them. And I know I showed this on my... Um, unboxing but y'all these things are so stinking cute look at these look at that i mean they're food safe you put you put your gummy bears or whatever you want in there and then and you make a little label oh come on oh just too cute so this is the um i'm sure it's not called your peach hold on i got that too please hold please hold um you're a peach yes it is you're a peach designer series paper. And I'm going to show y'all a card. I just participated in a swap. Oh, hey, Marilyn. Um, just participated in a swap with, um, with this suite. And I will show you the card that I made 17 of. And it's this one. Isn't that the sweetest thing? I love it. And y'all, I love this technique. Um, I do believe that, um, Kylie Bertucci, her husband, uh, it'll come out later, um, that he actually designed this. I mean, I could be wrong, but that's the first time I ever saw it. And all it is, is it's just showing off the suite of, of designer series paper. It's the, um, right side and wrong side, you know, whatever. They're all right. Um. They're all the right side, if you ask me. This one is my favorite because I kept making that the main focal point, and uh, I love it. Love it. So this is Euro Peach. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm telling y'all, this reminds... Bruno, Bruno, Kylie and Bruno Bertucci. Bruno, I believe, is the one who designed that. I mean, if he didn't... That's the first time I ever saw it. Okay, Beauty of the Earth. I don't know why I know this one, but I do. Um, I'll show y'all. Y'all. I mean, it, it moves me. This this is this is an emotional piece of designer series paper, y'all. It's emotional. Oh, here's the back. All the trees. These are gonna be gorgeous in the fall. All these colors, Marilyn, you're exactly right. These colors are off the chain. Look at that. And of course, you always get a 12 by 12 sheet. The share that I participated in is, um, look at this. Oh my goodness. The share that I participated in is 12 by 6, which is perfectly fine for my needs. And I get to play with it and decide which of these I really need to purchase in order to, you know, you know, have a normal life, right? Look at that. I mean, you can see the trees. It's, it's just squiggles. But y'all, am I excited? I know I am. I know. I know. I know. Y'all, this, this to me looks like the, the morning dew and, oh, mm -mm -mm. and this look, just looks foresty. I mean, you can see the trees, you know, and always look at your, uh, look at your, designer series paper and make sure if it goes one way or the other. This one might be hard to tell if you just glance at it, 
But once you make your card and you get it all sitting there, you'll be like, oh dear, that's a tree. And I did it this way. <laughs> and I like anything with a natural look to it, especially the wood things. I'm not even going to try to remember the names of the rest of these. It might happen and it might not. But y'all, this, this is kind of retro just in the colors, you know, the um, potted plants and stuff. And y'all, I don't, I don't do potted plants. Somebody gives me a potted plant and I may as well just run over it and put it out of its misery because every time I walk by, it'll be like, psst, psst, water me. Or, psst, psst, you gave me too much water. I'll pour some up. It's wanting too much out of my life. I can't do it. But I can do something pretty like this. Oh, Marilyn, that's what they look like in the mountains. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I want the mountains. This is beautiful. It's, I don't even know. It's beautiful. Here's some, some little pots for plants. Now, y'all, you can, let's just, let's just say, if you cut off that edge and turn it this way, is that not a coffee cup? Yes, it is. Doggone. And then we got pretty little background here. Yes, some of the plants can be cut out with the dies to this suite. Yes, indeedy. Love this, y'all. That is beautiful, tropical, kinda. Come visit anytime. On my way, Marilyn, I'm packing. <laughs> but you're going to want me to bring all these crafts, too. <laughs> and these are um, some succulents mixed in with just some other house plants that you would recognize, but I don't because they're, they look alive. The only ones I recognize look dead. Okay. <laughs> More brick. And don't forget, you can sponge. Come on, sponge. Where are you? Come on, baby. Come on, sponge. Here it is. You can sponge a little bit of color on this if you want to. Make it look a little, I don't know, a little different. And this. Y'all, I love this. Marilyn's waiting. I'll be packing. Okay, this is hand-pinned sweet. Y'all know I've been showing this just about every Tuesday night. I love it. This is just fun. It's just fun and cute. It it really just kind of accents this um, designer series paper. Um, and, and that's so pretty, y'all. And y'all know, y'all know I bought all of the um, Memories and More cards to go with this suite because there's tons of things we can do with this. Isn't that just beautiful? Look at that. I love the colors. Yes, hand-pinned. Hand-pinned. My sister would go crazy over this. My sister Carol loved purple. And if she were still living, I would be making her a whole stack of cards to share with others. This has the pale papaya. Isn't that beautiful? And and to me, there's a right, right and a wrong direction. I don't know what they call that. This has uh, pale papaya. Easy for me to say. Pale papaya in it also, as well as the other, oh, come on now, the other in colors. Okay, I'm not going to try to say something sage and others. Okay, so this is the pansy set. If you love pansies, y'all, my sister pointed out one time that they have little faces on them. And when I, now I can grow pansies, don't ask me why, I, I could not tell you, but... Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. It looks so much like, like, let's go on a picnic. I mean, it's so soft and subtle. I love it. I love the background. Um, the soft succulent. Thank you, Heather. The background in this. I love that color green. Evening evergreen. Okay. Heather's going to give us the name. We have pale papaya, soft succulent, evening elegram, this evergreen. This might be, hmm, this right here might be soft succulent, and that would be evening evergreen. I love the flowers, too. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. But, you know, again, a lot of times I don't recognize flowers because they're, they look alive. They don't, you know, they don't make cards with dead flowers, and that's the only way I can identify them. Look at that, y'all. I love that. That's that um, lilac color or whatever. Okay. The little leaves here, more of that, um, I mean, 
I don't know if that's called a plaid. I would just call it a gingham check. Uh, now we're getting into um, fresh freesia, polished pink, soft succulent, evening evergreen, and pale papaya. Yes. So to make it easy, we have a light green and a dark green. We have um, a purplish color, which is probably this, the fresh freesia, and a uh, polished pink, which I, I don't, maybe that's this. I don't know. I don't know. This reminds me of Grandma's um, wallpaper. Yes, I love the gingham too. Look how pretty this is. Who'd have thunk to put these colors together? Now listen, if you're on my team, you've got a seriously great business tip on putting colors together. Um, I have a Facebook group for my team members. And if you're not on my team, why not? Why not? $99 through the month of May gets you $135 worth of whatever you want. You can get $135 worth of glue. I mean, I'd say, you know what, let's look at that again. But you can, y'all. You can. Okay. Or you can get, you know, stamps and all this other stuff. And you'll be on my Facebook group. And because I have a couple of my demonstrators that are really looking to make this a business, I have ramped it up a bit. Now, one of the, I'll share with y'all this one thing. You know, who would have thought to put, you know, these colors together? I mean, how much would you struggle with different greens and different um, oranges or whatever, right? Well, one of the techniques that I enjoy doing before I design a card, I want to look at artwork in, in mainstream media, like covers of uh, House Beautiful magazine or Country Living or, or, or even a sports magazine. They hire professionals to come up with these colors, y'all. And then we don't have to think, right? Like you might see a, a room with gray walls, a sofa with deep blue Knight of Navy colored cushions, and an orange footstool. Who'd have thunk it? Let, let's try that. Put those colors together. Dang, Skippy. They work. I love that. Love that. And I could go through and show y'all every every page where these come from and tell you the names of all the sweets, but it would take it would take the whole evening and and it's not that kind of video. But y'all, I'm showing you the, the designer series paper so you can you can get a good feel for up close and personal. Now y'all, there is, and it's coming in just a second, there is some designer series paper that is all about the Wildcats, and we're here. I think this is, yeah, this is one of them here. Is this one of them? No, I don't think so. It's these, y'all, okay? And look how pretty they are together. I mean, y'all, here are the kitty cats, the Wildcats, cougars, and, and I'm going to call these cougars and also cougars. I, I don't know, y'all, I don't have a wild cat. I have a story about one, y'all. So my cousin, my cousin, uh, who my daughter calls him Cousin Uncle Ted because she was never sure what relation he was, but he's actually my cousin. And he's like uh, probably 20, 18 to 20 years older than me. Yes, HGTV magazine, great for that. Y'all look at stuff like that. Teresa, you know I love cats and, and all the cats are mine. Um, but anyway, so my cousin Ted, back in the day, probably in the 70s, he goes over to this guy's house and uh, the guy's like, well, I don't know if you want to sit there. That's Kitty's chair. And he's like, oh, no, I'm fine. I like cats. And he, oh, a leopard. Thank you, Jennifer. <laughs> it's a leopard. So Ted is like, no, man, I'm, I'm good. I'm cool. I like, um, I like, I like cats. And the dude's like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And, the, and Ted sits in the chair, y'all. And it's clearly the cat's chair because the guy goes, here, kitty, kitty, and in walks. I'm going to say it's a leopard because we got some right here. In walks a wild, not wild, a domestic um, wild animal, cat thing, panther. I don't even know. I don't even know. A pterodactyl. No, that's a bird. Anyway, it was a big one, y'all. And it it just made eye contact. You know how a cat's head will stand still and the rest of its body moves? It it just locked eyes with him like, dude, you are in my chair. And it walked over there and it was probably 150 pounds and it climbed in the chair 
with him sitting there. And Ted's like, dude, what I'm, What if I need to get up? And guy says, you get up when the cat says you can get up. I told you it was his chair. <laughs> he sat there most of the night, y'all. <laughs> I love that story. And it's true. I mean, to my knowledge, he told it years and years. Okay, this is really neat. I have I have new friends that are from South Africa, and I'm really and truly going to make them some stuff like this because they've got things like this all over their house, and I really think they'll like it. Okay, y'all, this suite, I do have to look at it and tell you what it is because it is incredible. Please hold. Um, have to find it. Some of y'all already know. Some of y'all are like, I know what it is. And I didn't have time, y'all. I was dealing with a little bit of drama up to the minute of, of going live. And, it's, and it was not family drama. I happened to be a landlord. And um, I had a little landlord drama. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. Come on now. Okay, so In the Wild is the kitty cat suite, okay? And um, it, they're called Wildcats. I don't even know. But you get the stamps and you get the designer series paper and the embossing folder, which has, come on now, pick up. There you go. It has little animal print, y'all. And if you like, if you like animal print stuff, that is for you. And y'all get to enjoy a little bit of catalog while I'm zooming through. And y'all, I'm about to place another order. And you're just not going to believe it when it gets here. You're not going to believe it. All right, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to go real fast. Here it is. Boom. This is called Simply Elegant. Okay. Now, this has got to be the most elegant set I think I've ever seen from Stampin' Up. Here's their um, paper. Hoof prints. Yeah, that would be good. Hoof prints. That's what we need. This is the stamp set, and it's the top-selling, I think they said it's the top-selling set in Europe um, because, you know, they're all they're all elegant over there. I don't know. They ain't country like me. Okay, and here is the little punch. I don't know how close I can get it. Come on now. There we go. There's the punch, and I just happen to have the shape of it, I don't have the punch, but this was this was Brian's little thank you that he said thank you. Uh love Brian. And he used this stamp with it appears to be Versamark. Uh no, mm -mm, that's not Versamark. That is gonna be I don't know what color that is. Anyway, whatever it is, that's that is the thing. And you know people are gonna be trimming this down and making like a little cutting board, which we're using tonight. Hold on. There we go. There, we're going to be using this cutting board tonight. And they're going to be doing a lot of things with this shape. So y'all, y'all just, y'all just be looking, just be looking. I need to keep that in here. Okay. So I'm going to show y'all that stamp set. I mean, designer series paper. Okay. Um, this is one piece of it. Uh, oh, y'all really, really. Whew. Oh, and that's the back. I actually am going to use part of that. This is absolutely beautiful. It looks like the tile in a fancy, fancy hotel bathroom. Is 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 that a bad thing that it looks like tile in a hotel? But but you know what I mean. It, it's it's beautiful. And then uh, here's some Morse code for, for you. It says hi poop hi poop hi poop. That's all it says. That's what I know about Morse code. Okay, then these, this is so Art Deco and it's so beautiful. And I, you remember the set that, the stamp set we have where the girl looks like she's dancing and and her, her skirt is way up. I don't mean like her skirt is way up, but I mean her, you know, like a ballerina would be, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, I can see her like if she's on a stage dancing with this behind it. And um, yeah, okay, here we go. Jennifer, not a bad thing, right? And this again, beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. This is not sparkly, but it's beautiful. I can't, I can't even y'all. This is so Mediterranean, so, so, ah, uh, gosh. 
Isn't it gorgeous, Teresa? Here's another one. Hold on. This has actually a mosaic tile looking background. And then that. So you can always, when you have this uh, specialty paper and it's shimmery on one side, the, the back side will not be shimmery. So you can use it, you know, however you'd like. And then this is, oh, it's the weirdest name of paper. Um, in Good Taste, that's what it's called. Y'all have seen it before. I'm going to flip through it kind of fast. But y'all, I love this paper. Okay, they're artists in-house. They, honest to goodness, they spread a bunch of goop down, put some ink on it, and take a picture. I mean, look at that. Smooth as can be, but it sure looks textured, doesn't it? Okay, more of the mosaic look with this wood on the back. I love the wood paper. And um, I made a... I made a little, it's a, called a travel book, but it's also called something else. I'll blurt it out inappropriately later. But anyway, I made one for my husband um, for his Bible study notes, and, and it's gorgeous. I made it out of the wood look. This, this actually looks a lot like the floor in my studio and all over my house. And there we go. This is all about textures. Why did they name it In Good Taste? I don't know. That looks like it's got a pearl inlay. It's it's not uh, shimmery, but it looks it because of that pearl look. And who fell asleep on uh, Grandma's chenille bedspread? Y'all, I did. I did. More of the wood look. More of the um, goopy goop. Here's some tile, like a backsplash. And more goopy goop. That's a word, y'all. Goopy goop. Here's some um, wood. And then, uh, okay, no clue. But there you go. It's like a, almost like a, a bumpy towel. And more tile. There's a faint line like this. But you don't even have to worry with that unless you want to cut it out on the line. And then more like a tweed jacket of some sort. And the um this brick and then this wood okay so that's our new paper do y'all have a favorite tell me what your favorites are while i'm getting to this project because i'm very interested in what y'all love i try when i'm designing i try to come up with things that that you guys might just really enjoy learning about or seeing put together or whatever and um I'm very eager to show y'all show y'all what you want to see. Okay, so tonight's um, card comes from oh <laughs> Jennifer likes the technical terms. <laughs> hey, I'm here to help. Okay, um, <laughs> this here is a stamp set, and it's called What's Cook Watercolor Paper. Yes, and that is the next item on my order. Yay! Um, what's cooking? Gorgeous, sweet set. Here are the dies. I've already cut them because y'all know y'all know how to cut dies. And if anybody's watching and you haven't commented yet, please say hey hey. You can say hi, or you can say hey girl hey, or you can say hey Kathy. But what I mean, I don't, just whatever, right? Something in the comment line. It does not cost a dime extra. Okay. So here are the dies. I've already cut them out because y'all know how to do that. Okay. We are gonna start with. Pool party. Peach and in good taste, Lisa. Yes, yes. Those are my favorites too. Heather loves what's cooking. I do too. It's so sweet. And y'all, y'all know I don't do plants and I really don't cook that much. But y'all, Ninja Man had to go out of town. I'm going to tell y'all real quick what happened. Um, And why I was up at five o'clock this morning. Ew. Um... Marilyn, that's what's in my kitchen. Yay. Um, okay, so our church got hit really hard by the tornado. Like, we lost, I think the biggest loss were, um, you know, years and years of books that my pastor had. I, I just, I think that was very difficult for him. Um, because, you know, you can't just replace that kind of stuff, right? Um, now, I'm looking for my little eraser. Oh, there we go. Y'all. If you have 
I know, I'm talking about two or three different things. Hold on. Here, yeah. Here's your ink colors, right there. And I am, you know, I told y'all, I started this time around, I bought the small ink spots that were uninked, and I bought ink that matched the, that I bought the ink color inks, and then I put the ink onto the pad instead of buying the full size pad. Well, I'm going to go back and buy the full size pad. I am. It just, it could be habit that I'm more used to it. I don't know. Um, okay. So anyway, I was going to show you if you have that rubbery eraser, which I have been using all day and now I can't find it. And you get a little, a, a little spot of, of, um, heaven only knows what, like you can barely see it now, but you take that little eraser and you go on it like that and it, it gets it off. It does. Okay. So we're going to use this and we're going to use these adorable little guys that I cut out earlier and we're going to use this. Hold on. I got more adorable coming. Here it is. Here it is. Come on. There we go. I got this. I got one more. Oh, here it is. Look how cute. Now, y'all, you can, you can cut this out with the, um, with the die and cut a second one out with the die. And the second one is silver. And you can either make this end silver or make that end silver just by cutting it and gluing it on top. Wouldn't that be cute? Same with this. I would expect this handle to be black and this part to be silver. Can you see that? Isn't that cute? Little whisk. Um, yeah. So y'all, y'all think outside the box there. Everybody's doing these charcuterie boards. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know. Um, we don't have them here at Six Lakers. We just got a little board and I put a bunch of food on it. Um, anyway, could do this with a little ribbon on the top. I mean, y'all so cute. Okay. Okay. So first I am going to use this this piece of card, I mean, this piece of designer series paper, it's the, the one with the, uh, you know, so fancy, Jennifer, so fancy. All right, I'm going to cut this down. Now, last week I showed you my cheat sheet, and I'm going to glance down at that, and I know that this is four and a quarter by five and a half, because it's exactly half of a sheet of cardstock that's eight and a half by 11. So this next piece needs to be the next layer. We don't want it to, to cover corner to corner, although that's, that's what I did here. No, I didn't either. <laughs> okay, what I did here, I cut, um, a it's about an eighth inch shorter all the way around this black panel right here. And then I cut a, the next size eighth of an inch down black panel. And that's what I constructed all of this on. So then I glued the black, the plain black panel to my card. Hi Lindell, so glad you're here. I glued this black panel to my card. And then when this was complete, I just trimmed all the pieces around and y'all, it was a hot mess. And then, um, glued this panel to, uh, to that one. Okay. So I've got the card, a black panel, a second black panel that has all the things on it. Okay. So we want this to be just, just the way, just the way bit. So I'm looking down here and it's five and a quarter by four is the next actual, um, measurement. So instead of going five and a quarter, I'm going to go five and a quarter here, and then I'm going to go just a wee bit more. Um, this, let me get my bum, 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 scary dental tool. Um, Lindell, I did a pitiful live just now. Stop it. Your lives are great. I love them. Now, first of all, I'm looking at it. Is this a one-way design? It is not. So I can get as wild and crazy as I want. This line right here is five and a half. Okay. This line is five and a half. This line right here is five and a quarter. So I'm going to go right here. So that would be like five and three eighths. Okay. I, ju I just mathed. Did y'all see me? I just mathed. I oh, know. Okay. Five and three eighths. And I'm just going to cut that down. Boop. 
and then the next one calls for four. Now I know that my card base is four and a quarter, which is here. So now I'm, I got all that backwards. Four and a quarter. So I'm going to go to four and an eighth. And I've got to take a little off this side because y'all know I screwed it up. It should be five. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Five and a half by four and a quarter. And this one needs to be five and a quarter. Yeah, I, th I think that's right, y'all. Let's look and see. Maybe, just maybe, I did it right. By, by some miracle of science, I, it, it's correct. I, I don't. I don't know, y'all. Okay, all right. Going to grab a piece of Whisper White to be the next layer. What are y'all doing? Hold on. Hold on, y'all. All right, I just got to get a, reg a, a brand new piece because I, I don't have time to go through all my little parts, y'all. I have a, um, I have a bend down, a bend down, a bend down here that's got one envelope with with all my Whisper White scraps. And then I have this. And I didn't get crazy. I called it, I definitely called one very vanilla because we only have one very vanilla. Then I have black. Then I have blues. Okay. And Lindell, thank you. Thank you so much. And then I have reds and pinks because we have several varieties. And then I have greens. And again, I didn't name them properly. Purple. And I just keep bigger scraps. A lot of people ask me, how big of a scrap will you keep? Um, big enough to put a sentiment on. Um, this this is, I'd go a little bit smaller than this probably. But y'all, this, I mean, I just grab cardstock. It's quick, it's easy. And there we go. All right, now this one needs to be five by three and three quarters. Knowing that, that if I, if I cut it, if I cut it on the five mark here, I'll still have six inches this way. So I'll still have enough for a whole card. So I'm going to do that. And let's see, five by three and three quarters. And the thing is, I can always cut it back down, but I can't really add much for it to, um, you know, you can't really add. You can only cut down. So I think I'm going to do it like this. Maybe one more little bit down. Let's let's look at that. So that was three and three quarters. Maybe we'll go to three and a half. Three and a half by four and three quarters is the next. Y'all know what I'm looking at, right? It, it's this thing that I showed you last week. It's this thing. And I mean it just it makes it easy so I don't I don't have to I don't have to really math. Um uh oh, oh dear, oh, oh dear. Y'all look out. Okay, so um yeah, that's more what I'm wanting right there. Okay. Then we are going to cut down. Oh, I I thought I kept my little red piece. Hold on. I know I did, I just gotta find it. Or I didn't come on. I thought I did. Oh, there it is. Silly me. Okay. This is a, um, let's see. This is a go this way or that way. And I want it to go this way. So I'm going to cut this strip. And this is just my own, my own idea here. I'm going to cut it at two inches. All right. And this will be the size of my card base from here to here is four and a quarter, all right? So I'm going to go, let's see, four and a quarter would be the card base. And we went down a little and down a little. I'm going to start with this and see how close we are. Yeah, I'll take it off just a little bit. It'd be a lot easier if I just simply measured it this way. That's three and a half. Okay, three and a half. There we go. Okay, Oop. I think that's all the cutting we have to do. Wait till y'all see this card. Y'all gonna be like, what? That's what you're gonna be like. You'll be like, what, what? But y'all, okay, so my um, my church, I was starting to tell y'all about my church. Y'all know it got hit hard by the tornado, right? 
well, long story short, our pastor was interviewed by the news. The story went um, national. I mean, it did anyway. And there was a church down in Florida that um, that is having to close because COVID. Got, you know, they just don't have any any mem members. They went from three hundred down to barely thirty or something like that. And they got in touch with our pastor and um, Lindell, bless and only one more day of ther therapy on my arm next shot. Oh, Lindell, bless your heart. Oh, I'm glad you're just one more day out, though. You'll be back to normal. Um, so the men of the church, including Ninja Man, there's uh, six of them, I think, that traveled down there this morning. And Ninja Man springs it on. He asked me last night, he says, do you want me to wake you up before I leave? And I said, yes, be sure and tell me goodbye. And then he springs it on me. He says, you know, I don't really want to leave my truck in the parking lot up there at the church office, which we just have like a, like an office space rented somewhere. We don't have a, a physical building right now for our church. And um, y'all, I just glued that on. I'm just going to glue this on. Oh, no, I'm going to stamp it first. And, um, yeah, so we, we don't have a facility, but anyway, we do have a church office all of a sudden and we're real happy about that. But Ninja Man didn't want to leave his truck. So I get out of bed. Like we had to be there at 6am. I got out of bed and took him, dropped him off. And let's just, let's just make a note here that Kathy Bow does not drive in the dark. Okay. I don't drive in the dark when they are put when they are saying it's going to be even darker. I don't do it, not for them, not for anybody. I'm just going to roll over and stay in bed where I'm safe from all those crazy people. Okay, but I did. I did, y'all. I did. <laughs> y'all weren't expecting Evelyn to jump in there. I wasn't either, really. She just gets in there sometimes. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting out the um, balmy blue. Balmy blue. Getting up my balmy blue. And I'm just going to stamp off. Let me see how many I need. Yeah, I'm going to stamp off. That is a very, very goofy stamp. Hold on. Yeah, that is love. That is love. And I'll tell you the truth. I got to go back and get him. And that totally ruined my plans for Saturday. I was meeting my sweet friend for lunch. And now I can't. Because he's going to be rolling in right about that time with the other guys. And I'm like, I guess that means I got to pick his fuzzy butt up. All right, y'all. So I just stamped off and then stamped on, okay? And I did case this from Pinterest. Because y'all know I'm a case girl, right? Oh, am I ever a case? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So, yeah. So that's how my day started. And, um... We keep our grand girls several days a week, so I texted my daughter and told her the whole story. Um, Angela, to any friends who may be reading, I don't love y'all till 10 a.m. <laughs> Bingo! Yes, it is true. It is true. Um, but yeah, so I took him and and I I came back. I told my daughter, I'll text you when I get up. Y'all, it was 10.30. So I went and got the girls, met my daughter halfway, got the girls, and um, and I, I, I did pretty good for a few hours. And then uh, this grandma needed a nap. And they're older. They're like nine and six. So I told them, y'all, see what we're doing? See what we're doing here? The, isn't that cute? Um, Annie Santiago. Oh, I hope Annie joins us. I hope she does. And if anybody's here that hasn't said, hey, hey, let's get that done. Say, hey, hey. So now I'm just going to put this piece down. So I got to go pick him up, y'all, on Thursday. And I, I'm really, I mean, I'm thrilled he's coming home, but man, I'm really sad that I'm not going to get to see my friend on Thursday. But it's okay. It's okay. Do y'all want me to cut one of these and show you? <laughs> Marilyn, I like Evelyn. Oh, Evelyn Witherspoon. She's she's a hot mess. I used to do her in my comedy routine. Um, 
do y'all want me to cut the uh, silver and show you how it looks? Or do y'all y'all kind of get it? I'll give you a minute to decide. So now we need some, we need some twine, some tea wine. Some tea wine. We're going to cut this off. Boop. Oh, oh, so that church, they are, do I don't even know if I finished the story. That church is donating, y'all, so much stuff to our church, things we've never had before. Um, it is it is such a God thing. I mean, yes, our church building was destroyed, but y'all, there is so much love out there. <sighs> so much love. Okay. I can use for you happiness is homemade or what's cooking. Those are the ones I'm looking, sending you a dash of uh, kindness and a spoonful of love. I would want to use the bowl and that spoon. Um, and y'all, I could have put onions on there. Silver would be pretty. Um, Lisa, what did they go get? Okay. They went and got, they are getting, uh, my husband sent me a picture earlier tons of chairs. I mean, they had 300 members. They're getting AV equipment. They're getting everything needed to suit a church. And I'm just, I'm just over the moon, thankful and grateful and just like, wow, right? Over the moon that God would provide in such a way. It just, it kind of, it makes, it makes me a little teary. I'll be honest. Okay, y'all, this is just some scrap that I have. And I'm just going to show y'all how I'm going to make these silvery. And I'm, this is not stamping up, but y'all, it's just silver paper. We, um, we do have that sort of thing too. All right, we got this and then we're going to do this, okay? So let me get out my little guy and I'll show you. Oh, he's already out. Look at this. I know y'all have seen this before. I love God's people helping other people to, uh, helping God's people too. I do too. He does. He looks after his own and he knows, man, my pastor is so scriptural. I mean, he, oh, uh, y'all, he knows we need this. We need this church to continue. So I've shown y'all this before. This is the small, the baby stamping, uh, cut and emboss machine. And it's, it's got a, uh, opening here that's three and a half inches, okay? And it has different recipes for different um, purposes, whether you are trying to em emboss with an embossing folder or if you're cutting with die cuts. Now, I've shown y'all mine before, and I don't know if everybody has to do this, but I do. I have to stagger my plates just a wee bit, all right? Um, so I'm just going to put put this plate in and the recipe is one, two, and two. So we have plate number one, boop, plate number two, see that two on there? And then this one is also a two. This has got to be the cutest little mini, mini machine, Heather. It is so stinking adorable. So I'm going to put my little, my little, um, paper in here and y'all, I'm going off of the, off of the, um, paper right there. As you can see, the handle is sticking out because I don't really need the handle. I just want that part. And we're going to do the same thing with this. Okay. So there we go. All right. Now, when I say stagger, I'm talking about, uh, I might need to move him back down. Hold on. Nope. He was good. Okay. I'm talking about doing it like this. Okay. This piece is sticking out. See, because I want it to feed first. Yours may not have that need like mine. Um, Teresa, have you heard news? Yes. Heidi is doing great. She's home. She is, uh, y'all, our friend Heidi had uh, rotator cuff surgery. Um, we don't know. She couldn't tell us the details because she's in a, another world right now. Um, with all the meds, but she, she said that, um, the surgeon said she did really well. He told her husband she did really well and she's at home with the nerve block and everything feels weird because of that. And, um, 
That's what we know. So she's good to go. She's just got a long road ahead to heal. And, um, oh, y'all, my card ministry at church, y'all, we've been meeting at my house because the, um, the lighting is really bad at church. And this is simply for the card ministry. This is not for Kathy to sell Stampin' Up. Um, but maybe I like that on there. Hold on. But um, our new church office, which is not in a church building, like I said, it's just an office that the uh, church is renting. Um, the new church office, we have such a great place to make cards. All right, y'all. How stinking adorable. Oh, Lindell. Oh, Lindell, you do not want to do that if you can avoid it. But if you have to have it, you have to have it. Um, I just had that last year. And um, it, it, it's a thing. It's, I'm not going to lie. It's a thing. And I will, um, I'll, I'd love to, to help you if I can in any way. If you have any questions of my experience or whatever, I'll, I'd be happy to help you. Or maybe you already know. But yeah, we don't want to, we don't want to do that. So y'all, I've got my little um, silicone craft sheet out, and y'all, I am just going to thank you. Isn't it cute? Y'all, this is one reason I love stamping up, and I know I've never done this with a paintbrush for y'all before, but I'm doing it tonight. Uh-oh. Um, what I could have done is cut, sorry, I'm almost out of screen. What I could have done is cut this with um, adhesive sheets, and then I wouldn't have to do this part. You know, put glue on it. Okay, so we're just going to set it there, and I got to look at it up close so I can center it. Y'all, I'm telling you, that is the cutest thing. Um, I do want to trim this. I wasn't sure I did, and now I do. Okay, look at that. Isn't that adorable, y'all? Okay, and now we're going to do this little guy. And i got to see where I want him. Okay. Um, this was not planned, but you see how right here it kind of goes into a point? I'm going to leave it because it, it's kind of cool. It kind of looks like I meant to do it, right? Okay. And um, we are going on a cookout on Friday with our uh, church group. And this is a card that I made already to thank them. And um, this is heat embossed here like this. Isn't that pretty? Of course, it's retired. Don't get attached. Um, but I love that little card. Okay. So here we go. We're going to paint. I'm going to paint it on this part this time. Just painting our glue on. And like I said, I've never painted the glue on before, but I kind of felt like that's a good way tonight. I don't know why. I just did. Okay, here we go. We're going to put the little metal part on. I mean, y'all, this is too stinking adorable. Wouldn't you love to get a card like this? Look at that. Y'all, it's so stinking cute. Okay, so got to wash these guys later. Well, this I won't. I mean, when it dries, you can just roll it right off. This guy is a whole nother story. Okay. Um, now, we are... Oh, I do have one more thing to stamp and cut out. Um, let's see. I'll put this like this. And maybe this like that. I don't know if I'm doing that or yet, yet or not. Definitely going to put this up on Stampin' Dimensionals. I keep working down here. Um, that's a good idea, but your brush is ruined. It will be if I don't rinse it. You're right. You've got to rinse it like I should get up right now and go rinse it, but I'm not. Okay, this little guy, I just love the cutting board. I think it's so stinking cute. And I think it would be so... Oh, dear. It would be so cute at Christmas... You know, to do something Christmassy and maybe cut out some little cookies and put on there. I, I don't know. I don't know. 
We're going to put that like that. Now, I know I'm covering up some of my little chef hats or the little little hats you put on a leg of lamb, those poor lambs. Oh, Teresa, I'll be in Panama City with grandbabies and their parents. Yes, just use Dollar Tree brushes. Yes, that's true too. That would be good. Okay, so I'm going to put a little more glue on there. Y'all notice I got a little heavy, got a little crazy. And if y'all are watching and you hadn't commented yet, just say hey. Just say hey, hey. That's all you got to do. And you don't even have to do that, but I want you to, so I'll know you're here. Um, do be careful. If you get glue on the chrome side, um, it it ruins it. I mean, it, it doesn't, but it does. You know, it's, like I said, it's paper crafting. Um, nobody died, right? Not over this. So um, it's not that big a deal, but I don't want any glue on my chrome. So you, you just got to be a little careful. Teresa, I hope you have the best time in Panama City. I want to go so somewhere so bad. Um, Marilyn said I can come up there. So, you know, I might, I might just have to say, knock, knock. <laughs> I'm going to put them like that, y'all. I kind of like them laying over each other like that. Okay. Um, and now I don't like it, but it's too late. Okay. So we are going to stamp. Um what's cooking. I think that's what we'll do. We'll stamp what's cooking. And I've shown y'all before, my friend showed me how to put my little stickers on my stamps, but we're not going to do that tonight. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. We're going to do this. Let me grab a little piece of cardstock. Anybody recognize this? Marilyn says, come on. <laughs> Anybody recognize that? It's the perfume bottle from um from that other set. You know. You know. Uh, memento, excuse me, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I'm gonna say what's cooking. And y'all, that all that paper that I've got, I am so stinking excited over it. Um, I'm gonna do that again. Actually, you can just, you know, you can stamp on the other side. It's not a big deal. But I'm so stinking excited over that paper. No. That I will be crafting with it quite a bit over the next few weeks. So y'all be sure and tune in. All right, so just because I can, I'm going to whack this off, okay? Just boop. All right, and then I'm going to use my um, rectangle, my stitched rectangles, rectangle stitch, whatever you want, whatever you want to call it, and that will be cute on that. Oops, wrong one. It's going on this one. Okay, let's get our little guy back out. I'm sorry, I thought I was through with him, but he likes a little bit of exercise. Okay, we're going to put our card over here because somebody might tear it up. I I don't know who. But it might happen, y'all. Uh oh, there's our little. Okay, y'all should see my floor. No, you shouldn't. No. You know, when Ninja Man left, the house needed cleaning. And when he gets home, it's going to be all cleaned up. But I'm not, I, I, I don't have a maid, y'all. So guess who? And I think I told y'all I went a little crazy last week. And I literally detailed my bathroom so much so that I ended up repainting the, um, it's a triple dresser, y'all. It's, it's not a vanity. It's a triple dresser. That looks good. And see all the washi tape? All I had to do was tear off that washi tape. But I didn't. I didn't. All right, here it comes. I'll put it this way so y'all can see it come out. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. See, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes I might have given it too much. Let's try it this way. There we go. No. What did I do, y'all? Hold on. Hold on. I can fix this. All right. We're going to try it again. You just got to have a little bit over. Y'all. 
Hold on, one, one the other way. Okay, it's it's not wanting to do this at all. Number two. All right, we'll bring out the big guns. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. Everything's getting a little crazy all of a sudden. But um, I did have a little blip on my world as a land, landlord. I never want to do that again, y'all. We're going to sell the house and never again. Mainly because I could probably only afford to be like a cheapest house on the, on the street landlord, you know. Um, which is not the case right now, but, um, it's not the cheapest house on the street, but y'all, I'm over it. I'm over it. Okay, here we go. We're going to try this again with the big guy. Now this, where it already started cutting, this little, this little thing fits right in there. Or it doesn't. We'll see. We'll see. Mercy is right. The little one, there's there's a knack to it. There is to mine. I, I don't know if it's that way with everybody's. Okay. Who doggies. There we go. And it did get a little crazy. Got a little crazy right there. Darn it. But that's okay. I'm just going to snip that off. And I'm probably, I'll work it out. I will work it out. Okay. So Ninja Man's down there in Florida helping with uh, helping the guys get all this stuff and um and I'm I'm real happy about that but I sure did hate having to change my plans because I got to go get him or I could just leave him out there right <laughs> Marilyn been there we'll never do it again yep me either. And you know it. It's been a great experience with the with the people, but you know if if they don't if they don't want to do something a certain way, they they're not gonna do it. They're not gonna do anything to to make it easier on me. Um. Anyway. So that's the thing. Okay. So I got a little glue dot. I'm gonna put our little bow on on the corner right here and I am doing this before I put it down because I um there we go because I want to be sure that it covers that little boo-boo where I just now cut it out with the die cutter and I think it does I think it I think it's fine there I'm gonna put that there and I'm just gonna use this glue and y'all, you're probably wondering why am I not using the uh, fast fuse? And y'all know I'm I'm as I'm as transparent as anybody you will ever meet. I don't like it. Um, it I I just don't love it. There we go. What's cooking? So see, we do this sweet little card. It's still light enough. You can uh you can write on the inside. But um, I will jazz it up a little bit on the inside and show y'all what I come up with. Um, so let's cut this one at five by three and let's see, five. Oh, wait, it goes this way. Five. Renters have a way of being very evil sometimes. Um, yeah, and I don't quite understand this because... Um, we just love love these people that are renting our home. We just love them, but you know when they put on their business hats, they are all business, and things must go their way. And that's okay. That's okay. It'll you know it'll come out in the wash. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You know it'll be pleasant, but it'll come out in the wash. It's okay. It's all right. I still love them. Still do. Um. Just wish things were different. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp these and then we'll be done, y'all. We will be done. If anybody's on here and they haven't said, hey, hey, let's hear it. Hey, hey, hey. All right, just going to do this. Boop. And I'm going to take, is that my piece? No. Y'all, I literally just had it. 
Oh, that's probably, no, no. Literally just had it. I can't believe this. There, that'll do. Didn't even measure. I have no idea what I just this minute did with it, but it's this. we're going to use this one. All right, so here we go. Stamp off, stamp on. Stamp off my, um, my little ink pad is way too juicy for some reason. I don't like that word juicy, but there it is. I really don't. Okay, so it, I don't know why my ink pad is doing that, but uh, let me try this. We're supposed to, we, no, wait a minute, that's not photopolymer. Um, with a photopolymer stamp, you really need something under your stamp. Try it this way. Eh, nah, I'm going to use this side, just am. So I just stamped a little bit of those guys on there, stamped off, then I stamped back on. And here we go. And let me put this up before I lose it. And um, Marilyn, congrats on YouTube with 800. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everyone who is subscribed. I appreciate it. I did hit 800 this week or last week sometime. Um, Angela, stamp on, stamp off, sung to the tune of clap on, clap off. Yes, it can. Yes, sirree. Put a whole new meaning to it. Okay, y'all, so this is our card. I've used the background from our designer series paper, and when I turned it over, we lost all of that beautiful gold, but it's okay. It's okay. These are our utensils just kind of tossed together, right? And then the, um, the cutting board. Now I'll tell you this, when I went to cut the cutting board die, I did have to go over it uh, a couple of times with just another little piece of um, card stock as another shim to get it to show that deep of a cut, okay? Um, so y'all, I'd appreciate y'all uh, praying for our church family and a lot of uh, a lot of things going on. My, um, my Bible... Uh, not Bible study, my Dove Notes, which is our um, our church family note uh, card maker group. Um, and this is one I showed early on, y'all. Um, we are starting we are starting to meet again. Um, I'm gonna be sending an email out next uh, next week, I think, um, late next week. Uh, my friend Karen and I are heading up this ministry, and I'm very excited because we're going to be able to use the office. Um, okay, so this is the first one that I showed y'all. I had to make 17 of these for a swap, and and this is not exact, but it's very close. And then this is our card tonight. What's cooking, baby? Angela, yes. Let me tell you something. I stood in the post office yesterday, and... I, I looked at the cards there, and they are like 9 and $10 if they have stuff like this on them in dimension. I couldn't believe it. I, I mean, I haven't bought a card in ages. So, y'all, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, I love you all, and uh, goodness, goodness, y'all mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. Oh, and tonight is Hopper's birthday, or today is. So happy birthday to Hopper if he watches this replay. We love you guys, and uh, thanks so much. God bless. Toodles.